Hey everyone and welcome to the video today, I'm Lockhart QT and with N7 Day officially now one week away, I thought it'd be fun to go over everything we could see next week from N7 Day from Bioware and how it could impact the next Mass Effect game and the Mass Effect universe going forward. So let's get right into it. So traditionally on N7 Day we've had concept art pieces, the infamous Geth Crater poster, as well as some more concept art being animated, and the secret transmission audio clip. It does feel that with each passing N7 Day reveal and blog post, we are slowly getting more and more information on the next Mass Effect game. So this year I really do think we're going to get some more concept art as well as either some CGI teaser footage, maybe like 30 seconds or 20 seconds just to tease something, or at least some more audio clips like the secret transmission from last year. The next Mass Effect game is still in pre-production stage, meaning that the game hasn't even entered full production yet. This is of course due to... Dragon Age Dreadwolf coming out first and Bioware and the team are actively developing that first and then the team will slowly trickle over to the next Mass Effect game. Hopefully I'd like to see some more concept art as well as animated concept art but I really just want something that we as a community and me as a sort of Mass Effect news channel <laughs> defecto sort of uh, that I can pick apart and dissect in videos as well as something that I can really sink my teeth into like the secret transmission clip from last year. Since we're years away from seeing actual gameplay or in-gameplay screenshots, I feel like another thing we could see would be a title reveal. Now, I've talked about this in my past N7 Day video, but Dreadwolf got a title reveal on Dragon Age Day back in December of 2022, two years before it's supposedly coming out. So hopefully we could at least get a title reveal for the next Mass Effect game as it's probably coming 2025, 2026. So hopefully we get something soon because honestly, I'm sick of calling this thing Mass Effect 4, Mass Effect 5, the next Mass Effect game and flip-flopping between the three in videos and scripts. Personally, I want something concrete that I can 100% use in thumbnails and videos to say this is the next Mass Effect game. And if we look at the past two N7 days, we've had Basically, a lot of them using the GEF in marketing, first with the GEF-shaped uh, crater poster, and then if you look in this poster, you can actually see dead GEF scattered around the crater and on the surface of whatever planet or moon this is on. And then again in the secret transmission audio, hearing obviously Liara Tassoni talking, as well as some GEF-like noises of potentially a GEF character or a character that has been edited to sound like a GEF, or at least to me it sounds like a GEF at least. I can see How did we miss this? Exactly. The council will be furious. Although they should know by now not to underestimate human defiance. Perhaps worse they must living it. But again, our hopes of getting anything Mass Effect related all revolve around Dragon Age Dreadwolf as it's coming first. Rumours have suggested that Dreadwolf is coming late next year. This has been talked about by really creditable industry insiders such as the Xbox podcast and quite a few other places, Pete, like Bloomberg and, uh, sorry, Bloomberg and all the rest of it. They have actually talked about Dragon Age Dreadwolf potentially coming next year. So... Again, with everything going on at Bioware, we're going to have to wait and see because I think the Game Awards is coming up soon as well as Dragon Age Day. So hopefully we get a, a proper like gameplay trailer or something for that game. And hopefully with Dragon Age Dreadwolf slowly wrapping up, Bioware can fully focus on the next Mass Effect game and its marketing. So where are the team at Bioware at now in terms of development with the next Mass Effect game? Well, as we know, the game is still in pre-production, meaning that the story is being written, the gameplay and the code is being written as well, and a smaller team is working on the beginnings of shaping the next Mass Effect game. We also know that recently Bioware have moved staff over from the online MMORPG Star Wars The Old Republic and sort of split it between the Dragon Age team and the Mass Effect team, which is really bad news for fans of Star Wars, but 
for fans of Dragon Age and Mass Effect, this is really good news because it's more people working on those games. But we also know, sadly, that recently Bioware laid off 50 employees, some being seasoned veterans of Bioware that have been there since like Dragon Age Origins and the first Mass Effect. So with all the shakeup internally at EA and Bioware, things are looking rather uncertain for Bioware as a studio as well as Dragon Age and Mass Effect. By the way, I know this isn't Mass Effect related or Bioware related, but I just wanted to talk about this because it's something that really hits home to me. Recently, Bungie laid off loads of staff members, I think it was 8% of their entire force, with one being Michael Salvatore, who, if you didn't know, helped compose the original Halo games, as well as Destiny and Destiny 2, basically all the way up to present day in Destiny, he's written all the soundtracks, and he helped write the Halo theme, as well as Halo 1, 2, 3, Reach, all their soundtracks, so it's really sad to hear that. And again, my heart goes out to anyone at Bioware and Bungie that have been laid off. Hopefully you can get work because a lot of the developers are really talented and I just hope they can find work elsewhere. Anyway, back to Bioware news. With all the changes internally, hopefully the studio can give more of a statement of what is happening internally. As a lot of the news, at least for me, giving out a lot of the news recently has been negative and I'm just sick and tired of giving out negative news. So I think Bioware needs to come out with a big blog post on N7 Day reassuring Mass Effect and Dragon Age fans that both series are in safe hands because Bioware cannot afford another misstep or another mishap because another Anthem situation could be the end of both franchises. So just to recap. I really want to see a title reveal or a title drop as well as some more concept art, animated concept art and audio clips and teasers. I really do think all of these are plausible things we could actually get on N7 Day. I think the title reveal is a bit more wishful thinking but I think concept art and audio were definitely getting of some variety. I think we could also get some music for the next game as well, again we'll have to wait and see. And hopefully Bioware also come out with a lengthy blog post letting us fans know that everything is running smoothly internally and that the game is on track. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the video today and let me know in the comments below what do you think we're going to see on N7 Day and what do you guys think about the recent Bungie news with all the layoffs because it's really sad and again, I I'm really sorry to bring you more negative news. I promise I'll bring you positive news when there is some. Thank you so much for watching and for more Bioware, Mass Effect and Dragon Age content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!